Using InVideo, you're able to convert scripts into videos, allowing you to create faceless YouTube videos without doing the hard work. For example, in a matter of minutes, I converted my script into a video like this. It converted my script into a video using the power of AI technology. It found relevant videos that would go with the text. It found relevant background music and also captioned it, meaning people can read along the entire video. It can even write a script for you and then turn that into a video within just a few seconds. That's the short version. Version. However, in today's full in-video step-by-step guide for beginners, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step in detail how to use InVideo to create faceless videos. Here's what I'll show you in today's video. A platform walkthrough. I'll show you step-by-step -step how to navigate the platform so that you understand where to go and where to find certain features. I'll then show you the text to video feature, which allows you to put in a script and have a full video generated. For that, you do need a script. So I'll also show you the best script strategy that then generates the best potential video. I'll also show you how we can let the InVideo AI write a script for you by just giving it one single prompt. I'll show you how you can change the clips. I'll show you how to add or change the text, how to change the layout, how to change background music, and very important, how to add a voiceover. This can be a text to speech voiceover from InVideo or your own voiceover that you've created. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you a final result from a video I generated using in video. All of this took a ton of work, so please leave a like and let's get started. All right, so to get started, we need an account. I'll leave a link in the description down below, which allows you to sign up so that you can follow along the process. There'll be a discount code waiting for you in this video, but more on that later. Once you've created your account, you'll end up right here. This is the in video dashboard. What you notice right away is that there's four main elements. We've got templates, we've got AI text to video, stock media, and the editor. We can use all of them, but today we're gonna focus on the AI text to video because this is perfect if you want to get YouTube videos done without showing your face in a matter of no time. So we're going to click on AI text to video, which will then get to step number one, which is the templates. So as soon as you click on AI text to video, it will send you to this page where you have to convert a script into engaging videos. However, in order to do that, you do need a template. If I simply scroll down, you can see that they've got tons and tons of templates, which is absolutely fantastic. And what you need to do now is choose one of them. So what you can do to view them is simply hover on them. And as you can see, they will then start playing. So whichever template you like, all you need to do is simply click on it in order to start the video. What I'll do right now is I'll go with the general business video. However, you can scroll down, simply hover on them and choose the one that fits you the best. Simply click on the template. Then next up, you want to choose in which format you'd like to make your video. You can do landscape, which is 16 by 9 perfect for YouTube. You can do square, which is one by one, for example, perfect for an Instagram post or a portrait, which is perfect for TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, whatever it is. For today's video, I'm going to do landscape because I want to make a video for YouTube. Simply click use template and then you'll end up right here. Now, this is where the good stuff starts happening. This is where you can put in your script or you can let the InVideo AI write a script for you. I'll demonstrate how you can do both. Before I show you how you can simply use your own script, I wanna make sure that you understand how to use the AI version. So as you can see right there, describe the script you want to generate. All I need to do is give it one single prompt and it can then generate a full script, which we're then gonna turn into a video. I'm gonna ask it to write me a script about things to do in Amsterdam. Simply click on generate. And then as you can see right now, it is generating your script. Depending on the prompt you gave it, it might take one minute, it might just take a few seconds. As you can see, mine is done in literally just a few seconds, which is amazing. Now let's analyze if this actually makes sense. Welcome to my channel where today I'll be sharing the top five things to do in Amsterdam. First on our list is exploring the famous and picturesque canals of Amsterdam, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next up, you cannot miss the Anna Frank house where you can learn about, so you can see this stuff actually makes sense, which is fantastic. Now, if you like this feature already where you can describe the script you want to generate and it then creates an entire script, what is even better is that in video is working on an AI video generator, meaning you can simply put in a prompt just like this, how to make a video, blah, 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 generate, and as you can see, it's going to generate a full video for you by using AI technology. Now, this is not out yet. However, it will be released soon. If you're watching this after uploading, this might already be out. So what is good is that if you've got a premium plan on InVideo, you also get access to InVideo AI, which will allow you to create videos 
from any single prompt. So not just the script, the entire video can be done with one single prompt. As soon as this drops, this is gonna be a game changer, absolutely fantastic. What we can now do is click on create scenes and it will then make our video. But before I show you that, let me show you how to insert your own video script. Pretty simple and straightforward. Simply copy your script, go to InVideo, paste it, and there you go. This is now ready as well. Now what's even better is that a simple video script like that can actually generate videos like this right here that get 1.3 million views. So this video alone right here, as you can see, is indeed monetized, which I can see with an extension, which means that this video has probably made well over just $5,000 with a simple five minute video with simple B-roll stock footage. Isn't that insane? So the fact that a simple script like this can generate this many views and that much money, combining it with in video, which will then create the entire video for you, is extremely easy. However, how do you generate a script like this yourself if you do not want to use the AI feature? What you can do is actually quite simple. We all have ChatGPT available and we all have YouTube available. What you can do is click on these three dots right here then you can click on show transcript. What that is gonna do is gonna show you any transcript from any YouTube video, basically just the script. What you can then do is click on these three dots here, toggle timestamps, and then as you can see, you've got the entire transcription of a YouTube video. I'm not saying you should copy this one-on-one. -on -one. What you can do though, what you can experiment with, is simply taking this script right here because this is proven to work. This is proven to get 1.3 million views. You can then go to ChatGPT and then you can say, rewrite the following script while keeping the same context and length. Dots, paste, enter. And then what it's gonna do right now is gonna rewrite the existing script from the other video that you found. Now, is this the optimal way who knows? However, it works extremely well because as you can see right here, what they're now gonna do is create a full script based on the information that you gave it right here. So it's not gonna be exactly the same. However, it's gonna have a similar structure, similar information, and because of that, you're gonna get a great script in return. What you can then do is simply take this script from ChatGPT, which is gonna be pretty good because you've got it based on a popular video with over a million views. Let's say that it's done right there. You can copy it, go to InVideo, simply paste it, and there you go. That's where you can then continue. So this strategy works extremely well. What I recommend you do is not take the exact video or take all the videos from one channel, but simply browse around on YouTube, find videos that are proven to work, that had a lot of views, for example, this one 1.3, this one 600,000, 500,000. That's a lot of views. That will result in quite a lot of money. Or this one right here, 300,000 views. But as you can see, the clips in the video are pretty easy. We can easily generate that with in video. So these are very good videos that you can easily get done by using ChatGPT and in video. Now, if you don't wanna take from videos like this, what you can do as well is simply work with ChatGPT itself. So you can simply say, write me a YouTube script for a video about things to do in Amsterdam. Please include attractions, restaurants, foods to eat and hotels to stay at. If you then click generate, it's also gonna generate a script for you. So you basically don't need to write the entire script yourself. You can let it be generated by in video. You can use ChatGPT, you can use existing scripts, then rewrite them with ChatGPT. There are so many ways you can do that. But as you can see, this will turn out pretty good as well, as it pretty much tells you exactly what you need to do. Transition, quick shots of famous Amsterdam attractions, and then it gets the script, etc., etc., and that basically keeps going. Now that is just how you can generate a script. Let's figure out how we can actually make our video. We're gonna get to an important decision, because if you take a look at the left bottom, you will see auto-suggest images and videos. Before you click on create scenes, you have to make sure that this is set to the correct settings, because you'll see free, iStock, and premium. I myself, as you can see right there, I've got a premium account on InVideo, which means that I don't have any watermarks, I don't have any limits, and I've got the best stock footage, which is very important because if you're using these free stock images and videos, your video quality is gonna be much lower, so you do not want that. Because of that, what I recommend you do is click on iStock and premium before you click on create scenes so that you're gonna get the best potential video. I've ticked these boxes, I can now click on create scenes. As you can see on the right hand side, it is now setting up our project, which means it's creating our entire faceless video by using AI technology. As you can see, it's almost done. Depending on your script, this might take a minute, might take two minutes, but it should be done fairly quickly. And there you go. This is the storyboard tab. 
On here, you'll see your video, which is now entirely generated by using AI technology. So what InVideo has done, they've taken your script and they've matched videos to the script. So for example, I'm talking about Amsterdam, and as you can see, the video in the background is indeed Amsterdam. Now, in case you don't like the videos that are automatically selected, don't worry, we can very easily change that. And that is full guide, I'll show you step by step how to do that. I want you to know that you can customize pretty much everything. You can change the text, add logos, duplicate scenes, change the images, videos, whatever it is, which I'll now show you how to do. So on here, we've got the storyboard tab, which basically means we've got the entire script on the left hand side, as well as the videos on the right hand side. However, we also have the editor tab, which is where you can basically edit the entire video at once, as well as the collaborate tab, which is where you can work on this video together with your teammates in case you have them. For now, I'll go back to the storyboard and show you how you can start editing this video. I recommend starting off with scene number one, which you can see in the scenes tab. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? The background clip I do not really like. I think this can be much better, especially because InVideo has more than 8 million stock footage clips from premium sources like Shutterstock and iStock, which always get you high quality. In fact, what is funny is that if you were to pay for these stock footage platforms on yourself, you'd be paying more than InVideo would cost you, which is pretty funny to see. So that's something I like, but how do we change this? So you can click on videos in the left hand menu and then you can search for anything you'd like for example amsterdam click search and then as you can see it is now going to load up all of these clips from amsterdam what you can then do is simply choose the one you would like so you can simply hover on it to get a little preview and then what you can do is simply select this and then drag it into the layer so this clip right there looks absolutely stunning from iStock. i'm going to select this and then i'm going to drag it into media layer one what you can do now is trim this. So for example, if you only want the first two seconds to show up, simply drag this to the two second mark and then you should be good. However, I'm just gonna stick to five seconds and then customize the length later on by using in video in the bottom right corner, which you can see right here. So I now have that clip in the background, fantastic. However, we still have the text in the middle. I do not like that. So what I'm gonna do is simply select it and then I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom center bottom perfect because that is how people view content if you look at the tvs netflix youtube captions whatever it is it's always in the center middle so we're going to do the same with our video right here the text that shows up as of right now is the default text however if you go right there you can change the text color and the opacity for example if you want yellow text what you can do is simply slide the color palette to yellow put it right there and then as you can see we now have yellow text what you can do as well is change the font. So you can click right there and change it to any of these fonts. They've got a ton of them available. For example, if this one might seem cool, simply click on it. And then as you can see, it will change. Insanely easy to do. You can also change the font size. If it's a bit big and you want to change it to 48, simply click on 48 and there you go. You're now done. So what you can see already is that in video is extremely easy to use. It's kind of drag and drop editing, which makes it really accessible for anyone to start creating faceless videos. What you can do as well is simply drag this out so that you can get it to one line so that it's even easier to read and follow along. But that really depends on whatever it is that you like. Basically set, you can customize it to any style that you might like. Before I continue editing my entire video, what I want you to know is that you can change the scene duration. So as you can see, it is currently set to five minutes. However, if I simply make this four, just like that or free, the clip is now going to be three seconds. You want to make sure that you use this accurately so that you can set the pacing of the video. This is really important because if every single clip is going to be 10 seconds, but it only needs to be two, it's going to be extremely boring and the pacing is not going to be right, which means you're going to get less watch time on your videos and less engagement. So in video has the feature where you can change the scene duration. Make sure you use it. It's really important. Then how do you add the logo? It's not by clicking on this logo right here. In fact, you want to go on the left hand menu, click on logo, click right there, and then you can upload a custom logo. Simply select your file. It's then going to upload. You can then select it. And then as you can see right there, it is now adding my channel logo in the top right corner. In case you don't like it and you want to get rid of it, you can simply click delete just like that. Click delete and it will then be gone. What's possible as well is duplicating a scene. If you simply click on duplicate scene, it is simply going to create another scene like the first one or the one that you selected. 
which is pretty easy to use as well. As you can see, we've got number one and then number two show up right here. I've shown you the basics. However, there is so much more for you to make a great video from this. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go through the scenes and show you step by step how we can change the clip how to make sure it's a good one, change the text, and basically everything you need to do in order to create an amazing faceless YouTube video. But actually before that, if you like what you see so far, I'll leave a link to in video in the description down below. With the code YVH25, you can get a 25% discount on any paid in video plan, which allows you to create the best faceless videos at the highest quality. Now this is an exclusive discount that you won't get anywhere else because I've been a dedicated in video user for a while. They have allowed me to share this code with my audience so that anyone can get a discount. You can apply it at checkout YVH25 for 25% off in case you would like to start using in video. Having completed scene number one, I'm now gonna scroll down to scene number two, a red light district that's both fascinating and controversial. What I'm gonna do is go to videos Simply click right there. I'm going to search for red light district Amsterdam. You want to be very clear with what you're searching for so that you can get the best potential video. As you can see, I'll now get these clips. This right there doesn't seem like it. This definitely does. So I'm going to drag this clip in, click at right there. And then as you can see, this is now done. Now, what is very important, like I just mentioned, this clip is 12 seconds. However, this definitely does not need to be 12 seconds. If I look at how much text there is for scene number two. So what I'm going to do is simply make this about four seconds, just like that. Much better pacing, gonna do a great job for our video. Scene number two is done, let's scroll down and move on to scene number three. A football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. They're talking about Ajax, so what I'm gonna do first of all, search Ajax and see if they've got any videos. They've got a few clips of the stadium, however, that is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for actual footage from the team, which gives me the great opportunity to show you how you can add custom images or videos to in video. It's fairly simple. All you need to do is click on uploads right there and you can select your media. What I'll do right now is simply search for Ajax, just like that. I'll go to images and you can also download videos from wherever you like. However, I'm simply going to take one of these pictures, just like that. I'm going to download this, go back to in video, click right there, click right there, select the image. It is then uploading. As soon as that is done, I can simply drag it in here just like that, and it will now show up. Fantastic, so that is how you can add a custom image or video to in video so that you can add it into your video. Next up, we've got scene number four. We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. What I recommend you do here is don't make it about the secrets part, make it about the city part. What a lot of people do with tools like in video is they'll simply let it choose based on, for example, the secrets or revealing this or that. But what I recommend you do is stick to the main theme of your video, which in my case is Amsterdam. So what I'm gonna do is search for Amsterdam and then make sure to just select a general clip from Amsterdam so that people stick within that kind of theme rather than selecting clips based on one single word that is unrelevant to my entire video and then add the clip based on that. That, in my opinion, is a no-go. So I've added this amazing clip from this tower right there which is gonna look great in our video. So far, so good. But what happens if there's too much text in one single scene? As you can see, scene number five has quite a lot of text. Did you know that in Amsterdam, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12.5K bicycles? Amazing, however, there's too much text. What you can do is simply click right here within the text box, and then what you can do is split it up. As you can see, it says split text at cursor, which is fantastic. So what you can now do is simply go right there. Did you know that in Amsterdam, add a few dots, click split text, add cursor, and there you go. What you can now do is make these two separate ones, which you can see right here. So we now have, did you know that in Amsterdam with the dots? And then after that, we should get, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up the 12.5K bicycles. I'm also gonna make this put to the center that looks a bit better to me. So what I've now done, I've taken text that was too much and then split it up into two parts, which makes it easier for the viewer to read. Apart from that, you can also duplicate the text box or you can entirely remove it by clicking on duplicate or remove at the top right corner of that specific text box. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is upload a custom image. The reason for that, and you wanna make sure you do that, is because it's relevant. 
there's a specific bike parking garage that we're talking about. So what I'm gonna do right here is search for that one, which is called the Feet Flat. Then what you need to do is download a video or a picture from this so that you can then insert this. So I'm gonna take this one right here. Of course, make sure that you're aware of copyright issues. Click upload, go for the process. We're gonna take this, drag it in here, perfect. If I now play this, what you'll see is that first of all, it's gonna say, did you know that in Amsterdam? And then we're gonna get hit with the second part of this specific text box, which is fantastic. I really like this feature as it allows you to make it look better, even though there's a lot of text that would have been on the screen. Now, as you can see, this picture might not fit in the best way possible. So you can click on crop right there, click best fit. And then for example, you can zoom in on this specific part and then click on done. And this will now change, which is pretty cool. In case that still doesn't work, you can click on fit type. You can then click on crop the screen or stretch the screen. I recommend doing crop as it usually is better. However, that is how you can make it fit into the video perfectly. Apart from that, what is cool as well is that you can flip images or videos, which you can see right here, horizontal or even vertical. Let's go with this one right there. This is the original. We'll go with this one. And as you can see, we've now flipped it. We can also add effects. Simply click right here. On the left-hand side, you'll then get all sorts of effects, which is pretty cool to see. You can add a blur. You can change the angle, distance, and opacity. You also have blending, which you can see right there. So you've got the normal mode, multiply, screen, overlay, which you can see right there. A lot of stuff will change, as well as special effects right here. So for example, you've got a 80 videos effect, which you can simply click on. And as you can see, this will then entirely change. You've got Aurora, which are these little flames, which is pretty cool. If you want to preview it, simply click on play right here. And that's what it looks like. It doesn't fit this kind of video very well. In case you want to get rid of that, what you can do is click on this arrow, which is going to take you to the previous version, just like that. And then finally, you've got animations. If you click on the type in the top left corner, you can choose any of these and they've got so many. They've pretty much created every single possibility, which is great. You've got a fade and then you can make it go in from left, from left big, from right, from right big, from up, up big, from down, from down big. You can see they've got every single possibility combination that you might want. So this is fantastic as well. Simply click right here and there you go. You've just added this. You can also change the duration of that specific fade in. For example, set it to one second and there you go. That is now done. You can click on in place and then you can make it pan, zoom in or out, whatever it is, they've got it available right here. Fantastic. So far, we've created five scenes in our faceless video, which we can check by simply clicking right there and then we can preview it. What you can also do to make that easier is go to the editor and you've got your entire project right here. If you then click on the play icon right there, you're gonna get to see a preview from your video. Hopefully this preview is good already. However, if it is not, you can always change it to make it much better. All you need to do for that is simply click on the specific scene. So for example, this is scene number four. On the right hand side, you'll then see the clip as well as the text, which you can simply change or start editing. So do know that you can do all of that in the storyboard as well as the editor section. In order to add music, all you need to do is go back to the storyboard, then click on music, which you can find on the left hand side, and then all of the songs available will show up. What is great is that in video, because you've got the paid plan, in case you now do, you can use all of this without getting into any problems in terms of copyright. You know, sometimes uploading videos to YouTube and you take the wrong song, they will copyright strike you, which is not good for your channel. All of the songs that show up right here, you can use without getting into trouble. What you can do is simply find these songs based on category. So angry, serious, playful, inspiring, sad, relaxing, or you can search. You can also filter on genre as well as sound effects. So I really like that they've got sound effects I'm pretty sure they're the only online video tool like this that have sound effects included in their music or audio library. So that right there is a really, really cool feature. For example, let's say you're editing your video and you need an alarm sound. You can simply add those right here and they've got a ton available. So that right there is fantastic. However, when it comes to general music, go to moods and then simply search. So for example, we'll go with relaxing for this video. It's a travel video, so a relaxing song should be good. And then as you can see, I can preview these songs right here. Simply click right there on this button. 
And as you can see, that will then start playing. In case I would like to add this, as you can see, click to add as a layer. This will replace all background music in this project. Click yes, because that's what you want to do. And there you go. The selected music was added to the video. If you then go back to the editor, you can find that song right here, which then shows up and is done in your video. You can then once again also trim that. So let's say you only want that music for the first four songs. Just like that, you can then trim it. Extremely easy to do. But NVIDIA has one of the best, if not the best, music library as well as sound effects. They've got so many available. You can see 10,000, 4,000, 5,000. They've got thousands and thousands of songs available for you to use on your videos. Now, what if you're not sure how something works? For example, I want to make this way less text, but I don't know how or what to do. What can I do? There's actually a button in the bottom right corner, which is the live chat button. InVideo has 24 seven support, as you can see right there. So all you need to do is press that button and then simply ask a question. For example, hi Kenny, how can I remove text if there's too much text in just one scene? As you can see, Kenny right there is already typing. He says, hey there. You would have to go into the storyboard, then create a new scene just after the one having too much text. And then from the left, copy the extra text and paste it into the new one created. And there you go. As you can see, I now figured out my problem by using the 24 seven support, which is fantastic. So we've now added our script, which we've turned into a video. They've automatically added all of the captions. We've then changed all of the clips so that everything looks nice. We've added background music. You would say we're almost done and you'd be right to say so. However, there is one important big thing missing, a voiceover. So how do you add a voiceover to your video on in video? It's actually pretty simple. Let me demonstrate how this works. If you're in the storyboard, what you'll see is the voiceover appears right here. Add voiceover in editor. So you want to go to the editor, which automatically happens if you click on voiceover. And then as you can see, there are four options. We've got automated text to speech, which is basically an AI voice. We've got import from uploads, meaning you can import it from your uploads that you've already done. You can upload your voiceover file. So if you've never uploaded this file before, you can now upload it to InVideo or you can record the voiceover live right now. So for example, if I click and I would read out the text loud, it would then capture that and then add it to that specific part of the video. However, if you click automated text to speech, what will happen is you load up all of these voiceovers. So you can select the type realistic. Now this is new and this will get you the best quality voiceover, which is going to be better than the legacy one. So make sure you select realistic from there on. You can choose pretty much any language that you like the video to be in. And from there on, you choose the voiceover that you would like to go with. For example, if I like to go with Maxwell, I can click Maxwell. I can then click generate voiceover. I'll demonstrate what it sounds like in a bit. And it's now generating the voiceover. Now what you want to do is click this box right here add automated VO for all scenes. This will make sure that the voiceover gets automatically created for every single part of your video. So click right there and then that should be done. And there you go. As you can see, we've just added another layer, which is the voiceover layer. Did you know a red light district and a football were about to. So on here, you can basically see your text and this is then the voiceover for that specific part of the text. However, I did not do anything of this all of the text right there in the voiceovers showed up automatically because I just clicked on add voiceover to all the scenes. So it automatically generated all of that right there, which is fantastic. If you want to remove it, all you need to do is select it, click backspace. And then as you can see, it will then disappear. So if I go back to voiceover, I can also record the voiceover just like that. As you can see, I need to give permission to do so. Click allow right there. If I then click record, so I simply go back to the beginning click record right here. Recording begins in and I'll actually do this live. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district is both fascinating and controversial. And a football club has been dominating the Dutch league for decades. Simply click right there. And as you can see, I have now generated my voiceover. Click on add in case you want to add this. If it's good, simply drag it over to where it should be. You can also trim this in case you had a few seconds in the beginning that were quiet, just like that. And there you have it. Our entire video is now finished. We've got everything a good video needs. So now we need to download it. Keep in mind, if you've still got the free plan on in video, this will have watermarks and limitations. So I do recommend upgrading 
just like me, I've got the premium plan so that I can export my video by clicking in the top right corner at 1080p, which is full HD, which is the best video quality. Simply click export right there. And then as you can see in the bottom left corner here, my video is now rendering. Depending on your video length, this might take a few minutes and then it should be done. Now what's even better is that if you've just generated your video for YouTube size, what you can do after that is click right here, 16 by nine, is gonna open up this menu and you can change the sizing with your existing video. For example, if I wanna turn my video into vertical so I can use it for YouTube shorts, TikTok, Instagram reels, all of that good stuff, all I need to do is click on nine by 16. And then as you can see, my video is indeed gonna change. So what I can now do is simply get it into the right formats, just like that. So I'll just change the font size, for example, as well as the scene. And then by doing so, basically what happens is that you can now use that entire video, as you can see right here, just like that. And then place it wherever you want it. And you can then turn this into a short or an Instagram reel or a TikTok video. Simply go scene by scene, just like you would have done otherwise. And as you can see, you will then generate your entire video in a different format, which is pretty easy to do. From there on, all you need to do is simply click download once again. And then it's gonna download your video in full HD if you've got the premium plan in this specific format rather than 16 by nine. So it's just a nice little feature I wanted to show you as well. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial. And a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. However, the AI text to video is not the only way you can make videos with this platform. If you go back to the dashboard, what you will find is templates. They have over 5,000 different templates that you can customize. With this, you can also create videos. In a bit, I'll show you how you can make general videos by using these kind of templates, as well as make YouTube intros, YouTube outros, YouTube shorts, whatever it is that you need. So this is gonna be very useful too. In order to do that, simply head over to the template section. Then what you can do is search in the top right corner for a specific keyword, or you can scroll down and you can filter by type or industry. For example, if you need a slideshow template, you can click right there. And of course, it's then gonna filter on slideshow templates. And you can do the same with all of these. So intros, motion posters, outros, logo reveals, trends, tutorials, whatever it is, right? Simply tick the box. And then as you can see, if I just do tutorial, you're now gonna get the tutorial templates, which is pretty cool. Then if you wanna do this for YouTube, simply click landscape. And then as you can see, all of these templates will now be made for YouTube specifically make these healthy drinks in under two minutes. So as you can see, this is a fantastic looking template in terms of quality, in terms of colors, whatever it is. You can then open it up by simply clicking on it and then selecting the format, which in this case is landscape. And as you can see, the entire template will then show up in the video editor, which you're already aware of. If I now click play, this is what our current template looks like. Make these healthy drinks in under two minutes. Number one, bubble gum smoothie. Blend frozen strawberries, a banana, half cup, blah, blah, blah. So you can see, as of right now, I'm having trouble to read everything that it says in that box. So for example, what you can then do is select it. Then you can simply drag this longer so that it's gonna be easier to read. Let's see if we can follow along now. So we're gonna get the bubblegum smoothie, blend frozen strawberries, a banana, half cup rolled oats, dates, and a cup of milk. So we can now read that, maybe make it even a little bit more so that everyone can read it. And then we can keep customizing this. So what I wanna show you now is how you can customize an entire template so that you can turn this into a video, which actually looks good. So for that, what you need to do is use the top right section. So what you can see is that the template itself is already built out. If you then click on these templates, what you'll see in the top right corner is elements. Elements is basically what your video exists off. So for this template, we've got text boxes, we've got background clips, we can add a logo, we can basically do all of that, right? I'm just gonna get rid of the logo for now. And there you go. So currently this is our scene. Now the background clip, in my opinion, already looks pretty nice. I like the colors. It definitely fits the vibe very well. However, let's say that my title is a bit different. So for example, it's not gonna take two minutes, but it's gonna take 10 minutes. How do you fix that? So what you can do is simply select this here. It's gonna show up here. 
double click just like that and you can customize the text. So for example, if it's 10 minutes instead of two, simply type in in under 10 minutes and there you go, that then works. If we're not gonna make healthy drinks, but we're gonna make health smoothies, for example, simply type that in there and that's how you can customize pretty much anything. What you'll now notice is that this box will cover the text right there. So what you can either do is change the font size just like that, or maybe it should be 88. No, that's already too much. So we'll make it 80 and there you go. It now fits. Let's drag this so that it becomes a bit bigger and there you go. Now it fits again, or you can simply drag this box somewhere else or this text. Basically everything is drag and drop like you've already seen in a normal video editor. So we've now got this part as the beginning. We've got the clip. We've got the text boxes coming in with the text. Then we'll head right into this. So these are going to be the instructions or the actual information in the videos, which is going to be easy to read because I adjusted the length. We probably have to do the same here so that people can follow along. So once again, I'll select it. I'll take the end part and then I'll drag it out. So that it's going to be easier to follow along. We'll make it about eight seconds. Then go to the next scene and see if the information fits there. If it's easy to read, probably going to have the same problem. So we'll drag this one out to about eight or nine seconds as well. And there we go. And this is how you can start customizing your entire video. From here on, it works exactly the same. So what you can do is select it, go to videos, and then you can change the background videos if you'd like. For example, if I simply select this, as you can see, it's going to turn into this. We've got this video right here, which is selected here as well under the element section. But if I want, let's say a smoothie clip, because we're going to make smoothies, I'll simply search for smoothies. The videos are then going to load just like it would in the AI text of video part. And then what you can do from here is choose any of these clips. For example, this one, drag it in here, then select replace. Don't select add as a layer, select replace. Then you can trim it. So for example, if you want the first three seconds to show up, or for example, you want this part of the video to show up, simply click add. And then from here on, it's gonna add this video instead of the one in the template. So all of the templates are already finished. However, you can customize all of the templates based on your liking. And that is with text, the colors, pretty much anything. If I don't want the text right here to be kind of like orange, what you can do is go over here, text color, you can make it black, whatever it is, right? You can customize everything by using all of the stuff that I just showed you inside the elements editor. That is just one video. However, there are so many different templates. Let me show you this template right there, which is going to be perfect for a listicle video. We've all seen these videos on YouTube about the top five X, Y, Z water slides, animals, whatever it is, these get millions and millions of views. If I simply click play on this template, what you'll see is that this is a template for the five deadliest snakes of the world. Number one, the King Cobra. We've got a picture, it's animated, we've got text. We can then read out that text and that is gonna go to number two. Saw Skilled Viper, same thing. We've got the picture, the animation, and the information with the text. Number three, the Inland Taipan. So you can see this is a very, very cool format, which is just one of them that is extremely easy to put together as well as customize. For example, if we play this right here, on the right hand side, we'll find the elements. If I simply click pause, as you can see, we now have all of the text. We've got the texture overlay as well as the picture. So if I just click play, just right there, you can simply select the element, which in this case is the snake. If you don't want the snake, you can remove it and add something else. For example, if you're doing the five deadliest water slides in the world, whatever it is, right? If that even exists, you can simply insert that by either taking a video or an image and then inserting that right here. So this is basically the, the exact same process from what I just showed you. However, it's a very easy and cool way to make videos because you can choose a template Simply customize it and everything will be done. So if you're not that great at video editing or choosing clips or whatever it is, this is going to be for you because all you need to do is find the right template for you to use, simply change the text and then you're done. What you can also do from here is the same as with AI text to video is voiceovers. So for example, all of this stuff right there, there's a lot of text. Simply click voiceover, automated text to speech, click generate voiceover and that voiceover will then be generated for the entire format. So if I simply click on add right there, as you can see, it's now going to say the five deadliest snakes 
well, let's see, of the world, just like that. So this is extremely useful and very good in terms of getting videos done quickly with a nice format. And this is just one of them. Let me now show you how you can put together YouTube Shorts. So what I've done, I basically went to the library, which you can do by going to dashboard, templates, and then searching right here. And I search for Shorts, just like that. You'll then get all of these formats to show up for you. These are extremely easy to customize. For example, we've got all of these videos right there. In a bit, I'll show you how you can use this to make a motivational short, which for example, right here has over 174,000 likes, which is pretty insane. But this is extremely easy to use. If I simply play this for you, you can see they simply have a background clip. They put text in the middle. They put their name up on the screen right there, and then they reveal the answer. And that is it. This gets millions and millions of views, which is extremely easy to put together with in video. I'll quickly play this template for you. This is more of an informational based one. As you can see, monetize a YouTube channel, free tips. And then they're going to go into tip number one, which we've got these background clips as well as text. Then we've got clip number two or tip number two, I should say. This is scene number three with another tip another tip and then the outro. So what you can do once again to customize this, simply select it, the elements will show up. So for example, if this is going to be a different kind of tip, so for example, not master SEO, but master, let's say um, ads, just like that, you type in ads, you then change the information based on that, make your ads convert well, for example, make your ads convert well just like that. We're now customizing everything. For example, the media, if that's not good, we can go to images. Maybe we can type in Facebook ads if that shows up or whatever it is that we'd like, simply add that right here. So they don't have that many clips or pictures off Facebook ads. This could work. Simply drag that in there, click replace. And there you go. You get the point by now. It's extremely easy to start customizing and editing these templates which makes it very easy for you to make these videos. The example I just showed you is even easier. I found this template right here by simply going to the market and then searching for motivational video, just like that, or motivational videos for YouTube. You find all of these templates right there that work out insanely well. This is a good one. This is a good one. You can see it's proven to work millions and millions of views. So what I now need to do is change the background clip if I choose to. If I like this one already, I can simply continue to use it. And then all I need to do is simply change the quote that I have. So if you simply generate 100 quotes with ChatGPT and you simply change the quote from here, you paste it, you paste it, you paste it, you paste it, you can literally generate hundreds of shorts in just an hour. It's gonna be insane. I just told ChatGPT, give me a motivational quote. I'll take this right here, simply go back to InVideo, click in the tax box, remove this, paste my quote. And there you go. If I then click right there, as you can see, my quote is now there, which is fantastic. So it is extremely easy and fast to do. I can now render this video and I've got a short. I can do that a hundred times and generate a hundred shorts in literally 60 minutes. It's going to be insane. And then finally, for example, for your YouTube video, if you type in YouTube intro, you'll find tons over 1200 templates that you can use to generate introductions for your YouTube channel. And a lot of these are pretty cool. For example, this right there would be perfect if you've got a gaming channel. All you need to do once again, click on it, click use template. It will send you into the video editor and this is where you can start customizing it. I'll quickly play the template for you so that you can see what it looks like. As you can see, this will indeed be perfect for your gaming channel. It's going to say loading, whatever it is, you can then put up your channel name, your logo, whatever it is, right? This is pretty cool to see and very easy to generate. What you would do is simply click right here so that the elements show up. Your name is not this one, but you simply insert your name. In my case, Yuri, just like that. I'm not a professional streamer, but let's say I make reaction videos. You can say I'm here to make you smile. For example, just like that picture. That's not me. So I will go to this right here. I can simply go to images or uploads. I should go to take this picture, drag it in here, click replace. And there we go. And that's how you can customize your intro. You would then also export this the exact same way. So you can see how easy it is to start generating videos and customize them with over 5,000 templates available 
on in video. All the templates that I just showed you and how to make them are all available for you, allowing you to get normal videos done, YouTube shorts done in just a matter of minutes, making video creation accessible for pretty much anyone out there. But before I show you the final result, I want you to know that there's a link in the description down below if you want to get started with in video. This video took a lot of time to make, so I would appreciate it if you click on the link in the description down below. And in case you would like to start using in video, I've got a discount code for you, which is YVH25, which allows you to get a 25% discount on any in video plan, which is an exclusive discount I got from in video because I've been a dedicated user and I can now share that with my audience, which is fantastic. You can also go to the official in video YouTube channel to watch tons of great videos about how to use in video to start YouTube channels and do a lot of more cool stuff. So I'll leave a link with a discount as well as their channel in the description down below so that you can get started and learn more. And with that being said, here's an end result of a video generated with in video. Welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant city known for its rich history, stunning architecture and world-class attractions. First on your list should be a visit to the iconic Anne Frank house where you can immerse yourself in the story of this courageous young girl. Take a leisurely stroll along the picturesque canals and marvel at the charming gable houses that line the streets. Indulge in the mouth-watering Dutch cuisine by visiting local restaurants like De Casse, where you can savor farm fresh ingredients in a greenhouse setting. For a unique dining experience, head to the Supper Club, where you can enjoy a delicious meal while lounging on plush white beds. Experience the vibrant nightlife by exploring the trendy bars and clubs in the lively Leidseplein area. Welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant city known for its rich history, stunning architecture and world-class attractions. First on the list should be a visit to the iconic Anne Frank house, where you can immerse yourself in the story of this courageous young girl. If you've got any questions about InVideo, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try and help you out and leave a like on the video. Thank you and then I'll see you in the next video.